Hey everyone. So today we're going to talk all about the scale menu and how you can program more than 16 steps and multiple pages into your patterns. So I've got a simple pattern set up. Let's listen to it. So that's it. it. Right now, it's just 16 steps, and I kind of want to build this up and make it a little bit more interesting. So let's make it a little bit longer. So how you access the scale menu is by pressing function and page, and there it is. Now there's two sides to this. There's the track scale and the pattern scale. So because you can program each track separately, you don't have to do it globally as a whole pattern. Whatever's written up at the top is going to be what you're, what mode you're in. So right now we're in the pattern mode. So any changes we make to it are going to affect the whole pattern, all of the tracks. To switch to the track mode, you press function, yes. And now you'll see track seven, which was the one I was last working on, is on the left-hand side, and the pattern is on the right-hand side. We're going to go through each of these and what it means, but first let's go back to the pattern mode because this is the simplest. So there's two parameters you can change. One is the length and the other is the scale. You could simply press how long you want the length to be. So let's say six. Now we have a pattern of six. You can press whatever number. I'm gonna go to 16. And if you notice right below the 16s, there's that little E. So the first number, the one on the left, is how many steps are in your pattern. The second one is how many are available to you. So if we turn it up a little bit, notice how we go on to the next page. And there are 32 steps total. Right now it's at 17. We could increase it using the, let, the data entry knob E, or we could just simply press 16. Now our pattern is 32 steps in length, and it goes over two pages, which you can see right here. So if we exit the scale menu and play it, the active page is flashing. And you can go up to 64 steps. If you hold down function and turn it, it goes up in, in 16 step increments. Now the scale is how fast it's playing through your sequence. So at one times, you're talking about a 16th note for every step in the sequence. If you change it to two, now it's gonna play Thirty second notes, so it's twice as fast. You can go slower as well and go down to half, which would be eighth notes. If you want to play triplets, you could play three quarters or any other division. So really, it depends on your project. For me, most common is six neath notes. I should add too that when, when I started this video, I already had a sequence and a pattern set up on the first page. So when I added more pages, it just copied that pattern. If when you start from a blank slate, if you immediately go in and say 64 steps, then do something on pattern one, you'll have to copy over that pattern to each individual page, which is easy to do. You just hold down page, function, and copy, which is this record button, and then go to the page you want and, and, press, and press page, function, paste. But it's probably easiest just to plug in the first page first and then expand it. But now we can go into each page in grid mode by pressing the page button and change our locks. Let's change up some of our sounds. So 
So I'm going to go to the second page. Let's change the notes of these. Let's go to And then we'll go to the third page. And the fourth page. We'll leave the fourth page as it is. So let's hear what that sounds like. Pretty cool. Let's take things a step further though and use the scale menu to set up some interesting kind of polyrhythm type stuff. Because we can set the tracks to different lengths, we can make interesting evolving beats. First of all, let's just change up our beat a little bit. But I don't want to mess up the pattern, so let me show you a little trick. We're going to copy the pattern to a new bank. I'm going to go pattern, function, copy. And it says copy pattern. I'm going to go bank and go to the bank that I want, 16, let's make a new pattern on H4. So now we go pattern, function, paste. We've just copied our scale menu from three to four. I'm gonna rename it, just so I can keep it straight, and we'll call it polyrhythm. So now I'm just gonna make things a little bit more interesting. Let's leave the kick as is. snare let's do something just a little bit more just something a little bit different we'll add in a couple toms Let's keep that going. So now what I want to do is go to the scale menu and we're going to go to, to track mode this time. So I'm going to press function yes. So now we have track six on the left hand side and the whole pattern on the right hand side. The new options that we have for us are change length and master length. And the reason they've included these is in case you're chaining patterns together or queuing up to change a pattern. The master length is the length of the whole pattern. The change length, the change length, if it's different from the master length, will tell the Digitact when to actually change to that next queued pattern. Since we're just using one pattern here, we're not gonna change any of those settings. We want the master length to be the full length of the pattern. But it's something to keep in mind when you're chaining if you are making tracks with different lengths, you're gonna to want to play around with those settings. For now, let's just mess around with making different lengths for the different tracks. So right now we're on track six. Let's make this 48 steps long. Let's pick a different track. We'll go to track seven. We'll make this 32 steps long. And for our rhythm tracks, I'm gonna make it really interesting. And we'll make them some type of weird division. Something like 12. We'll turn this one way down. And let's give this one, let's make it 14 so that it evolves. This is kind of crazy. but it illustrates how this function works. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. It's gonna sound nuts, but this is fun.
There we go. That sounds pretty cool. Let's actually lower that one down just a little bit. Pretty awesome stuff. And the longer it plays, the more it evolves, and you can make things intertwine and modulate together. It's cool stuff. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you, Perfect Circuit, so much for sponsoring this series and allowing me to make this video series. I hope you like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.